Hi everyone, this is Mathematica demonstration of a Z trace of a surface, and this one is going to be the ellipsoid. So here is an example of a ellipsoid. Let me put that back in there in a position that I plan to do. So this is going to be the uh, plane where Z equals 2. So this is a Z trace, and this is exact uh, parallel transport of the plane XY moving up and down. So if you change the value of k downwards like this and this is the point where the z trace begin to intersect the ellipsoid right there so you can see there's clear the intersection um, curve that intersection curve is actually given by this equation because we can see this z trace z plane here as an identical copy of xy plane and it's perfectly parallel you can uh, make sense out of this equation set to zero. So this is typical ellipse equation. So if you uh, see it over from the top and that's an ellipse right there and this is given by this equation. If you push it further down then you can see the ellipse down there and which are given um, by this equation. If you go further down and so that it doesn't even intersect then and uh, you can see that number turns uh, positive so if you set this one equal to zero and solve for the other part it becomes a negative so it sets empty intersection so without this tool and um, we can still kind of make sense and uh, roughly figure out how this one looks like using this z trace and which is what we did in class and here i collected those and different z values and, and how this ellipse look like in the same plane so you have to each of these different sides of an ellipse lives in a different um, z plane z equals so you can see if I put it there it seems like z equals something else and because the right hand side is different as a whole different z values and I show you the animation if I change the different k but this is a control plot so it's computing a bit slow so as I go up those curves uh, change the shape but these are all sketched in xy plane so with that information and knowing this came from which z value and the next one came from which z value you can have a rough idea of how these they stack them up along the z-axis and roughly figure out how what what kind of surface we're looking at in the next part i push the further to try to kind of sketch this as a curve intersection curve and those intersection curves are typical two variable elliptic equations so we can use this typical parametric parametrization that we know about it so this is something we went over in class so this is a parametric equation of an ellipse and if you put that into um, parametric plot 3d you can see um, as they intersect we can actually calculate the th intersection curve um, not only by this Cartesian equation but using the parametric equation and that's what I did um, to create this blue curve. One of the difficult thing um, to figure out using the Z-trace is this um, hyperbolic paraboloid. So this is uh, this shape is given by equation um, of this type which one is set to 1 and the reason is that I go to the top. At the top part, the, the Z trace looked like a, a hyperbola, but as you go down, as you can see, there's this part, and if you just write, get the right, it almost looked like an X shape, and there is actually a very precise value of K. If you hit that value right, it's going to look exactly like an X shape. So once you pass that, then the hyperbola changes direction. You see here, this, this is going to with the hyperbola you're going to see when k values here when k is a little bit up you have a completely different direction of hyperbola showing up so this is the value where it changes the direction of the two hyperbola split so if you go further down it keeps this uh, shape and come back and here is the x shape again and then it crosses and then change the shape of the hyperbola so it is not simple to figure out this particular shape by just looking at um, Z traces, but if you look at the Z traces over here, so if you kind of do it along that, it's the right direction, it's easier to figure out, but if you choose a wrong Z traces, it's sometimes hard to figure out.